are kind of avid Lego builders. So how did you get into the hobby? Well, that's because the season's a follower. But yeah. um, no, mostly. <laughs> no, um, I got to say, it started with me. I, I've been a Lego kid since I was five. I got my first set at five years old. And mm-hmm. it took off from there. And it's been nonstop for 40 years now. So um, I've always been into Lego. I had a massive collection by the time I was a teenager. A um, little bit after young adulthood, I accidentally lost that collection. So I've spent, you know, years building that collection slightly back up to what it used to be. But um, it's just always been part of my life. It's, it's something I loved from a kid and I just always stuck with it. And naturally, because I was so, you know, deep into it when we were growing up as kids, of course, the season, my other sister, they would join in with the fun, too. You know, if they were tired of doing what they do or um, as we described before in our interview, um, a season was a Barbie kid. So she had Barbies, but she didn't have the Barbie Corvette. She didn't have the Barbie dream house. So that's where I came in. I would build her a house. I'd build her furniture for her Barbies and a car. And, you know, that's how we just always stayed together, playing together. Mm -hmm. Um, It was just something, I guess you could just say bonded us. So it's just something that's definitely been in our family for over 30 years. Yeah, it's always the gift that I know will be a, a winner for my brother. You know, for me, I, I, he's not lying. You know, I would moonlight a lot. Anytime I know that I need to go and spend time with him, I'm going to end up in his brick room. His brick room was my brick room, you know, for a really long time. And then, you know, I would say, Hey, look what I did, you know, here and there as I would pick up cute little sets or, you know, something that caught my eye and caught my fancy. But now I'm proud to say I have my own brick room. You know, I'm proud to say that um, we're doing more collaborating where I'm bringing stuff to the table to say, Hey, here's, where I got stuck (laughs) and you know how can I enhance this and how can I you know add to it Um, I now have a toddler he's two so we're not quite ready for Lego yet so we're still in the Duplo stage which is actually quite delightful as well you know and it's it's just one of those exciting things that um, it's something that we can do together I think as an adult for me um, my Lego hobby kind of came out of necessity because I've always kind of lived in smaller spaces I mean I have my own house now but still small and you know lego is one of those things that you can create with and document however you want for us it's photography and then you can break it on down again and put that stuff away you know i was a puzzle enthusiast for a while you run out of of wall space you know i haven't i display small sets so it hasn't overtaken my entire house but i've got some some things nicely placed here and there and yeah i feel like as i move forward that will probably become more of a problem than it is right now as I have been building much more lately than I have been before now but um yeah it's, it's just a cool hobby that is super convenient not cheap so there's that but <laughs> it's a lot of fun it, it really is a lot of fun to just like I said just challenge yourself to you know take a line from a song or you know from the book you're reading or whatever it is and see if you can you know make that come to life with Briggs so uh, I'm also wondering what's the story behind Smile Check. Smile Check. Smile Check. It's just I don't know. It's um, I wouldn't call it like a, a thing thing, but just from time to time as we grew up, you know what I mean. When we're down, uh, a lot of the times it, we spent a lot of time alone because our parents worked a lot, like most people. And you know those times, if we were down or not having a good day, mad, whatever it may be, you got to keep that energy up. You know what I mean. You just have to and. Smile check's just something we throw at each other every once in a while to, hey, I know you're not looking right today, so you smile check. What's the matter with mm-hmm. you? You know and what I mean? Just honest. something. Kind of, yeah, just kind of like a little household things. You know, yeah, it's, it's something that. that we kind of resurrected, you know, because going into this, I, I, I'm a thinker, and I was like, there's going to be times where it gets tough, it gets intense, you know, how are we going to signal each other? And that light bulb just came on to say, oh, hey, remember our little <laughs> smile check from smile back check. in the day that we haven't used in a while? And then we just kind of resurrected it. And yeah, it, it definitely fit what we were doing. And yeah, I think it's going to be around to stay because our kids love it. So, If you could have designed a challenge in which you guys would have dominated as a team, what would that have looked like? Uh, oh, that's hard. Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> um, well, basically, what my main focus, what I do, uh, what I show on my Instagram is basically just small scenery it's focused around minifigures. So um, 
I feel like what I specialize in, what I feel like I'm the best at are creating very detailed sceneries um, to place for minifigure stories, you know, minifigure action photos, um, things along that line. And for me, I don't know if, if I could answer that definitively either, you know, to, to give me a, a theme or a prompt, you know, is, is really where I take my inspiration from. Um, when I build, a lot of times it might be something that's inspired by the song that I sing to my two-year-old 27 times a day, or it might be, you know, a, a motivation Monday that I see at work about the glass being half full, you know, my stuff, um, I, I just kind of pull from around me. So that's the answer on that for me. <laughs> so my, uh, I guess my next question is, uh, what would be your advice to um, people who are just getting into the Lego hobby? I would say start slow um, because it really does get low-key compulsive fast <laughs> as you're growing that collection. And then secondarily, I'm an insurance person by trade. I work for an insurance company and I always talk about making sure that you're properly documenting what you have take an inventory, take pictures, because your homeowner's insurance carrier is not just going to give you $30,000 if your house burns down because you say you have that much in Lego, which you most certainly could, you know, that is a reality there. So mine kind of goes to the educational side of things with Lego um, because yeah, it's a collection that grows very quickly and is very valuable. Yeah, to that, um, if I had to give advice, my main thing is do you. Um, I would say I've been building, like I said, my whole life, but as far as being a member of the Lego community, so to say, I'm pretty new to it. Um, I only started my Instagram about two years ago. Uh, up until then, my hobby has just been my hobby. And since joining the community and putting myself out there, um, I've met a lot of builders. Um, there are thousands upon thousands of Lego pages and um I'd say do your own thing. Don't follow a trend. Don't try to do what everyone else is doing for the sake of doing what everyone else is doing. Lego is the perfect toy, in my opinion, in the world. It was the greatest toy ever invented because of the fact that it doesn't matter how many people are out there. It doesn't matter who you are. Every person who builds, if they do their own thing, brings something brand new to the table. And that's what is so awesome about Lego is that there's room for everybody here. So do your own thing. Don't feel pressured. Don't feel like you have to do more than what you're capable of. Don't feel like you have to do anything. Do what you want to do and share that with the community because the community loves just that. I feel like I'm pretty confident that most builders would say the same thing. Um, it's just a way to release. It's a way to be creative. It's a way to teach. It's a way to learn it's so multifaceted that you don't have to play by any rules. Mm -hmm. So keep that in mind when you building something, you have an idea and it's frustrating you, put it down, mm -hmm. leave it alone, come back to it in two weeks. Mm -hmm. There's, you're not on a time schedule. You're, you're running your own race. There's no, mm -hmm. you're, there's no clock right there. You know what I mean? We're under a clock for a certain amount of time. Once you're off that clock, don't worry about a clock. Do you work at your pace? build what you want to build and don't do it to please others do it to please yourself and everything else comes naturally after that